Hi all. Let's talk about what is expression task in SQL Server Integration Services. So this expression task is available only in the recent version of SSIS. I mean it's available in SSIS 2014, SSIS 2016 and SSIS 2012. It is not available in 2008 R2 and 2005. So what is this expression task first of all? So expression task is the one which will help us to create and evaluate the expressions. So that set a variable at runtime and it is having a expression builder. So that is a very familiar window to the developer to write the expressions. And expression task is similar to the expressions in the SSIS earlier expressions. Now we have expression task and expressions to provide dynamic behavior to the SSIS packages. So I mean, so it is similar to the expressions. So where we used to work earlier in earlier versions like 2005 and 2008 R2. Then how to use expression task in SSIS recent version. So let's go to SQL Server data tools. Let's go open a SSIS toolbox. So if you see here, you have a ex expression task under common section. Let's drag and drop the expression task. So as discussed, expression task is the one which will help us to evaluate the expressions that set to the variables at runtime. So to use the expression task, so I have created three variables with a name of file location, file name and file path. So I have initiated means I have initialized two variables. First one is a file location and file name. So now I am planning to evaluate the file path. How to evaluate? So double click on the expression task. If you see here, so you will be having the left side variables and parameters. Let's expand it. So here you will be able to see what are all the parameters are declared at the project level and what are all the variables are declared in the package. So now as discussed, I am planning to set up a, I am planning to evaluate or set up expression for the file path. How to set up? Let's say you, if you already know the spelling and all, so you can directly write in the expressions or so SSIS provides flexibility to drag and drop that. So I just dragged and drop the file path. So equal to file location plus file name. So I want to verify if the expression is correct or not. So in the down you have a evaluate expression button. Let's click on it. Yeah, if the expression is correct, it will give you some value. So let me uh, put some wrong value here. Let me click on evaluate expression. So it gives a error message like this. So you can easily identify the syntactical errors during the design itself. So let me remove these unwanted characters and click on evaluate expression again. Yeah. So it got evaluated correctly. Now by looking at this is, so we set up the value to this variable with the help of the other variables. So once you're done with the uh, setup, let's click on OK. So now I can use the file path variable further in the further task. So finally, expression task is the one which will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to the variables or to the packages. That's it. Thank you for watching.